Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my let's play of Trails of Mana or Trails of Mana, <laughs> if you prefer. Nah, I'm sure there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. We're just going to do kind of an in-between. Can we jump over there? No. So we're going to have to actually run. All right, well, we don't really have a lot of idea of what we should or shouldn't be doing at this point. I mean, there's a star on the map, so we could do that. What's up? Carl's grave. Man, I can't believe they, they got Carl, man. That's see that's a that's a terrible start to the adventure. Was that a running? Yeah, yeah it was. Right. Oh, you can even lock on to targets. Cool. Sorry, uh B and Y is a repel attack. Okay, okay. Defeated the enemy without taking damage within ten seconds. <laughs> And there it is. Okay, same thing again. <gasps> Carl, you're alive! Oh, that, that's not Carl. Oh, that's not Carl. That's not Carl. I feel like I took damage somehow there. I'm not sure how, though. I thought Carl had come back. Ooh, we got candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, so I'm, I'm totally clueless as to what's going on, like the storyline, I mean, like, I, I get the rough, you know, it just threw us into the story, right? I get the rough idea or premise of that, but, so if we continue this way, we should see, and we sprint this way, can we go through the, the bushes? It seems like the answer is no. Alright, so that's gated off from us right now, looks like we're gonna have to continue forward with the direction that they want us to head. I know, I too am saddened by this, greatly. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of a power attack in there. Oh, I don't want to keep killing things that look like Carl. No! I'm also a little surprised that the, um... Like, the limited battle arena, like, scenario that goes with this. Ooh, he leveled up. Nice. Training characters. Level up to increase your HP and stats like your strength. With the increased stats, you can use training points to power up your characters by learning moves and abilities. Put points toward abilities from the training section of the menu. Uh, training. Okay. Use the training points you obtain after leveling up to learn moves and abilities and increase your stats. Magic spells and attacks you learn will be automatically added to the move ring by pressing down on the D-pad to bring up the menu and select a move while exploring the field or battling. Using moves costs MP. Okay, stat increase. Increase your base HP, MP, strength, stamina, intellect, spirit, and or luck stats. Uh, abilities will grant you special bonuses to help you on your adventure. Equip an ability to get the bonus effect and chain abilities. Abilities with that icon next to them are chain abilities. When, they, when they're equipped, these abilities will affect other party members in addition to the player character. Okay, so we can do strength points. Do we... It doesn't look like we can change anything. Oh, okay, like that. I see. 50% chance... So, the stuff that we gain here are... Damage dealt increased by 50... They're not active abilities. These are just, like, passive things. Interesting. Uh-huh. Alright, well, I'm going to go one point into strength and one point into stamina. And I... No? Well, I guess that's it. Alright, we'll proceed. Now, they're saying something about abilities that we could get. Like, uh, extra attacks and things. I, I didn't see anything like that. Hmm... So conflagration, or con conflagration, I don't know how to actually say that. Um, it looks like it's a chain ability. That seems to be our only chain ability. Very weird. Gear stats, so how do we unlock additional moves? Well, these say ability and moves, so 10% chance. See, these seem passive. Is there anything that's like active?
Huh, it doesn't look like it. And we have nothing in the move list either. Weird. So what is that? Very strange. All right. Well, well, we'll figure it out as we go. I'm sorry, guys. I had to kind of dig around through the menus a little bit there. It's all good. It's also weird to me to have attack not be on. Like, basically, attack and, and dodge are on opposite buttons. I may switch that because it doesn't make sense in my head to be attacking with the, do the dodge button from, like, every other game. And then to be dodging with the attack button from every other game. Very, very strange choice there, but eh. We'll get used to it. I also don't particularly like the left analog stick being pressed in as the run, but, like, what, what can you do, right? You kind of need it. Ferolia, Beast Kingdom Ahead, no humans. Alright. Oh, I did it again. Uh, uh. Less than 10 seconds without getting defeated. Oh, so it's like a 15% gain every time I do something that's at least feasibly not terrible. Ooh, we got a crit there. That was nice. Again, I still don't like fighting things that look like Carl. The wound is still a little too fresh, you know? That's not who I selected. Eh. Should have been under 10. Did I did I take damage on that? I didn't think I did, but alright. Alright, onward we go. Walt is going to be over here. Oh, Gormand. What's up? Well, he wasn't moving very oh. What did you do to Carl? Give him back! Give him back! Why is he all scared? Oh, 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 spare me! I was merely following his majesty, the king of Ferolia's orders. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I've come to you with an offer. Oh, yeah? Wouldn't you like to know how to bring your little Carl back to life? This doesn't sound good. Huh? Shh, listen. Ferolian forces are on their way to Windle as we speak. Mm -hmm. You need to find the Priest of Light who lives there. Why? Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie! <laughs> oh, now does this look like the face of a liar? You cannot wait! Ludger's guards have already left. If you dally, they may do away with the priest before you arrive. Hmm. Where's Wendell? Where? <laughs> it's this way, your highness. This guy worries me a lot. Oh, I thought he was just going to walk through it. Oh, he just pulls out a big old scythe. What? Now, you must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dust Moon Forest. And from there, you can cross the sea to the city of Jad. Windle is quite close to that location. Hmm? So, so don't dawdle. Or Ludger will have complete control of Windle before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of his sight. Okay? Uh-huh. In fact, I shouldn't be seen here with you either. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. Uh-huh. Like I said, guy seems totally, uh, you know, good and upright and, uh, you know, like an Carl. outstanding. Individual. Wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl. Why don't you just like climb a tree that or something, coward dude? Is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she alive? I want to see her. Uh-huh. 
Well, we should get moving then. I'm just saying. Also, maybe change the, 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 the pink head fur feather stuff. Kevin burned with hatred for his father and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only friend. He could have just climbed a tree, man. Like, why did he have to fight the dog at all? As the Ferolian troops left the castle, the young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell and ask the Priest of Light to bring Carl back to life. He's just gonna swim there? Like, what? Like, he's determined, man. Oh, this guy. Yeah, you see, you see what you did? Now your son's gonna whoop your booty, cause you were a bad guy, bad dad, no donut. Ooh, why don't we have cool fly bird guy things? Oh, that's it's them. Wait, how do we catch up to them if we're swimming and running and talking to people? And they're just flying along on birds. And now we're on a boat, I can only assume? Alright, you know, that's cool. Oh no, we're out swimming the boat. Okay, well that makes more sense. I mean, it doesn't, but it does, you know? I definitely recognize this music. Is it from any other game, or is it only from this series? Because I know I've heard this before. So, is that a flying fish and a mushroom person walking? I don't, I don't really know what that is. I always enjoy experiencing and seeing worlds that I haven't seen or experienced before for the first time. I think it's quite cool. There's a lot of our uh, brethren here being kind of mean to people. Chad? Belongs to Ferolia. Don't resist, and we may spare you. <clears throat> Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. How does he not see the prince? Uh huh. Too many guards. Can't let Beastmen find me. I'll find a but way to. I escape. have to go to Wendell. For Carl. Okay. So. Ferolian forces have taken the town close docks. Yeah, yeah, you told me that. Alright, um. Where's this taking me? Well, I found the, the harbor. Not where I need to go. Is it the same guy? Mm, something's not right with the town. Watch yourself. Nice. Sternum bush, dude. It's creepy, man. Alright, we're gonna leave. Um, there's an upstairs. There's some, some kids and people over here. That's cool. Uh, what do we got? Talk to me, kid. Uh, I'm not scared. You're scared. <gasps> Oop, wrong button. I, I'm scared. What about you? Are you scared? You with those evaders? Evaders? Invaders? Well, you can get out of here with the rest of them. Appreciate you. So, like, I, I can't be seen by... So what happens if I am seen? What? Kevin, is that you? What are you doing here? Oh, I see. You're on a secret mission for the king. Don't worry. I won't say nothing. Stop. I beg of you. Eek, leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, I just stole a bunch of money from the, the fountain. Oh, I feel bad. <gasps> How about you guys? Are you gonna turn me? Oh, what? Uh, Kevin, is that you? What are you doing here? See, what happened was. Oh, I see. You're on a secret mission for the king. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I won't say nothing. Yeah. No, that's, you're, you're absolutely, that's exactly what I'm here for. Man, it's amazing how astute you are. I See, I thought you were a fool, but no. No, I was wrong. I got a lot of lucre. It's a lucrative uh, endeavor. <laughs> it's fine, sorry. 
Uh, the beastmen want to take over Wendell. Someone's got to tell his eminence, the priest of light, before it's too late. Yeah, it's kind of on my to-do list. Uh, so... We'll see how that goes. At two. I am so sorry that I have sneezed. Alright. So. That's just weird. Why? Hey, isn't that Durin? Oh, give me a break! What kind of weapon shop doesn't sell weapons? It's true. If this is a joke, I ain't laughing. Come on, these beast guys are itching for a fight! Eh, not sure if I can beat them all on my own, even if I had more weapons. I mean, I could. Oh, a headache. What is this guy doing? Another customer. Sorry, we're fresh out of weapons. Couldn't stop those beastmen from taking the lot. <laughs> Alright. That's just not... It's not great. Um... Well, I suppose... I can kind of make, make my way up here. As long as I avoid big old stinky face McGee. I don't even know where he is. Is that him way over there? No, that's just a random patrolman. Oh, this is the dude that I can't let see me. If he sees me, it's all over. Oh, psst, what's up? Oh, what? Is that you? What are you Oh, I see. Secret secret mission. Secret agent, man. That's me. Ah, I just took my, my bath because, you know, that's how we animals do it. There is a lot going on here. Oh, there's, a, there's some treasure loot that I missed. Apparently more than a little bit of it. hi -ya! Yeah, one magic rope. That sounds useful. What this? Ooh, wrong button. Ooh, chocolate. We're getting chocolate. We're getting pieces of candy. How old are we? Sorry about your pottery. You probably deserved it, though. I'm just saying. All right. Get on up here and oh, it's just a space here for us to. Okay. That guy across the way, not super observant. But I could have punched <laughs> my hole through the wall again like I did before. All right, I suppose we'll we'll start going to do what we're supposed to do. We'll go into the candy shop though, because we have to. You know that we have to. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. You're just going to be like, Oh, Kevin, what are you doing here? Oh, you're blah, 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 blah. And, and the answer is no. No, I'm not just blah, 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 blah. But I could be if I really wanted to be. Yeah. Huh. Uh, uh. Yeah. Candy. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Ooh. Another piece of candy? Another piece of candy. Love it. Oh, more pottery. All pottery must die all of the time in every game ever. We know this is a rule. I have laid down and decreed this to be the case for many, many, many years. Oh gosh, he's here too, is he? I'm gonna guess the beastmen took everything from you? Well, uh, out of equipment. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beastmen ruining business. Yeah. It's kind of their thing. All right, we're going to go to the alchemical yeah. shop here. Or whatever this is, the, the golden chalice of doom shop. Oh. Hello, friend. I remember you. You're Hawkeye, probably. This town has caught up in a war it never wanted. It's the same story everywhere you go in the world these days. Like my homeland. What on earth is going on? I do not know. But we will find out together, or separate, I don't know. I don't think you're one of my companions I was bringing. Who are you? The beastmen are too frightening to fight. It is better to hide. And what better place to hide than right here? <laughs> beastmen of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? Oh. Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, 
Night is actually best. Did you just Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. Also, wouldn't it be easier to track us as beasts? The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. All right. Good luck. I'm here for it. That's cool. Thanks. Appreciate you. Wait for night. Sleep Wait at for the night. Until then. Yeah. Just wish our guards weren't the ones causing trouble. Yeah. Well. You know. You, sometimes you just have to deal with what you you know what you're given. So what happens if I go and I talk to talk to the goober that's like leading this? I'm gonna guess that you have nothing for me. Welcome. I was Lots wrong. Of to browse. Uh, recovers HP. Fairy walnut recovers MP. Okay. Medicinal herb heals status effects, and then I got a magic rope. Oh, returns the party to an entrance. All right. <laughs> Come again. Thank you. Come again. All right. Let us go and get this done. All right. I'm not sure what we're going to get done, but. What's up? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Who's there? Not much of a beast boy, is he? He's got side <laughs> bicep tuft. Where'd they go? That doesn't even that make sense. Why? Heaven? Uh, must be seeing things. What? Why would he have arm hair? Like you know what? It's fine I'm, I'm not even I, I'm, I don't I don't need to judge him I'm sorry I Close apologize one. didn't mean to body shame you about your weird arm hair I mean you're totally not weird but completely normal arm hair it's cool man wish I could grow my uh, arm beard like that hashtag arm beard all right ooh piece of candy nope what is this magic pots if you find a seed, try planting it in an inn's magic pot located near the front desk. You can grow items and equipment from various types of seeds. You can grow equipment. Really? Okay. The pot will level up the more seeds you plant. The higher your magic pot level is, oh dear, uh, the better chances, better your chances at getting good items from seeds. Okay. Uh, enemies will drop seeds more often too. Sure, I'll plant a seed in the magic pot. Oh. Well, that's horrifying. I obtained some honey elixir. And I gained like a millimeter of a level. Sweet. Who dis? Oh. It's Ankhila. Hello, Ankhila. Whoa, why are you so freaked out? What is wrong with you? Could you give a girl some peace and quiet? Back off! What? Holy crap! She seems pretty pleased with herself, and he's just—he—he he just, he, he just can't, can't handle get anything past me. He just can't <sighs> stay awake. Like he gets slapped and he's done. Like he—he he got slapped all the way out of the castle, back to the grave where he buried uh, Carl, and I don't. I don't know what's happening. All right, let's talk to you. Looking for a place to rest? No charge. Can't do business with these beastmen in town anyway. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. All right, it is nighttime. It's beast time. Oh, that's cool looking. Not what I was expecting, but it looks cool. I like that. That looks really neat. Except it's weird how his tail is the same color as his actual hair. Well, alright. Let's go. Should be real easy to escape now that there's nobody on guard. Wundle plus Wundle equals Toodles! And I am out of here. Did you know that silver and gold mana statues exist in this world? And somewhere, there's something even better than those two. Somewhere in the wide world before us. A rabbite forest. What the? Oh, those are mushrooms. Oh, so rabbites and mushroom people. Okay. That's what's running in the loading screens. Ah, uh, cool. 
Well, we're gonna go beat up some more uh, Carl Juniors over here, and then we're gonna make sure that we change the button configuration for the next episode. And we're gonna break it off right here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed up to this point. Um, combat so far has been somewhat simplistic, but I know once we get like companions and all this other stuff, it is going to get a lot more complicated and difficult. Right now they're, they're spoon feeding us little bits of the game, little like mechanics and things like that. So, you know, it's just getting us ready. And then they're gonna be like, all right, you, you ready? Are, are, are you sure? And then they're gonna drop the hammer on us and we're gonna be like, oh my goodness. That's right, I chose hard difficulty. What was I thinking? So we'll see how it all plays. Anyway, folks, I just want to let you guys know there will be a bit more regularity going forward with the programming. I'm going to be trying to keep stuff, like, coming back to it, recurring, and I'm going to be trying to get through some series that we're playing, uh, as opposed to... I'm still going to be all over the place. There's still going to be a giant variety of things to, to come. So there will be a lot of stuff to still check out, but there will be stuff that you can come back to a bit more frequently. In addition to that, there's still, of course, any new game that comes out that I'm able to get my hands on. I'll be covering those as well. So, more of the same, but also just just more in general. So, if you like a particular series, hopefully it's one that I'm going to be returning to frequently. All right, folks, that's it. Until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.